Hey, big hello to everyone, this is Tatiana and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be super interesting because we're doing extensions with Polygel in under 40 minutes. For the cleanup, I won't be timing myself as everyone's nails are different and the cleanup time will never be the same for everyone. So our 40 minute timer will only start when we begin our extensions. My client's cuticle is quite dense and elastic, therefore I'll be cleaning it up today by using my nail drill, and then switching to a ball bit to buff everything up and leave everything nice and smooth. Then with a diamond bit and blue abrasion, I'm filing down my client's nail plate. This bit is a cylinder bit and I'm using this instead of a nail file in order to make sure that I file every little ridge on her nail plate. And now I have started our timer. After filing down my client's nail plates, I'm thoroughly dehydrating her nails, applying a non-acidic primer and a thin layer of a base coat. The secret of these quick 40 minute extensions is dual forms. Today I'm using these dual forms from Model 1s that I really like, and this beautiful poly gel with glitter from a company called Blue Sky. I'm really excited to use this poly gel today because not only is the building material in one little bottle, but also the design. So I'm taking my brush and spreading out this beautiful glittery poly gel on our dual forms. Then I'm carefully pressing it to my client's nail and further spreading out the material from underneath. The only complaint I have about this poly gel so far is that it is a little sticky. Spreading this out with my brush wasn't the easiest, even though my brush was damp. And this poly gel did take longer to spread out evenly than regular poly gels. After I've applied the poly gel, press the dual form to my client's nail and taking care of the material from underneath, I'm sending her nail to cure underneath the lamp for about 30 to 40 seconds. Once I've done that, I'm applying a nail clip, giving us a beautiful narrowed out nail and not a little shovel. On Instagram, I showed you all the recent package I received with all the different kind of dual forms that I'll be testing. Soon I will be posting new videos with them, so if you haven't done so yet, do make sure to ring the bell in order not to miss them. Working with dual forms may look pretty easy, however, there is a lot of technique involved. For example, choosing the right size of the form according to your client's nail shape, determining the amount of poly gel that will be needed, to what degree you need to narrow out the end with a nail clip, and how long it needs to be there. 
And then of course, it depends on the material you're using, which can change the time for everything. This poly gel takes quite a bit of time to cure and gives you the feeling that it's not fully curing because of the stickiness, and that is a little worrisome. But look, all within 40 minutes, we've been able to complete extensions on all 10 fingernails. However, they still need a little bit of work. All that's needed now is to file down some of the tip and remove that edge by the cuticle. I'm taking care of all of this with my nail drill and then going over everything once again with a nail file. Cleaning up this material with my nail drill was also problematic and took a long time. I was constantly needing to clean my nail bit. And there was another problem, as you may have noticed on the middle finger's nail, there was some clear area of material on the sides. This is most likely from the form being too small, and then once we clipped it, the material simply seeped away from this area. So I added material to the side of the snow, which turned out nicely. This material really is so pretty, and I love how pigmented and glittery it is, but it was very time consuming and difficult when it came to the cleanup. Also, in contrast with gel polishes, poly gels like this, where the color is added to them, will result in this small line by the cuticle. It's nearly impossible to get a clean straight line of poly gel by the cuticle, since I can't apply a lot of material there. So I'm thinking that next time I use this poly gel, it'll have to be only for a decorative French tip. I've added some small art with spider gel, some hearts, and now I'm going over everything in a glossy top coat. A glossy top coat over this poly gel is super pretty. It gives it so much depth and the sparkles really come through. Within about a week, my client was back wanting to take down some of the length. After that correction, I added some red gel paint by the cuticle, which perfectly matched the red poly gel, leaving us with a more respectable and pretty manicure. And here's our manicure, a rather quick one, but nonetheless with some challenges. If you liked this video and found it helpful, then please give it a big thumbs up, and until next time.